Hello thinkers, welcome to the machine learning playlist. In the previous tutorial, we have already studied how to do the naive based classifiers, how to use naive based classifiers. We have already studied the Bayes theorem and we have studied how we can use Bayes theorem to construct a naive based classifier. So basically, in this tutorial, we are going to create a sex classification we are going to perform sex classification so we are given some data set and we will find out whether the height and weight corresponds to some male or a female right so we are going to classify it as a male or a female so in the tutorial where we discussed about uh, this formula we discussed the naive base classifier. I have given the link to that video in the description. So uh, please make sure to check that out. So you will be able to understand what this formula is and how uh, it, we have derived it from the base theorem. So this formula says that given the probability y given some x is equals to probability of y and this is basically a product from i equals to 1 till n which gives me the probability of xi given y divided by probability of x. Now I will rewrite this equation as probability of y given x equals to, I've just written this part here as the product of all the conditional probabilities. And you can see I've used the total probability, the concept of total probability theorem to expand probability of x as probability of y1 uh, multiplied by probability of x given y1 plus probability of y2 multiplied by probability of x given y2 where y1 and y2 are two different classes. It can go till n, right? So if we have n classes, we will add them like that. So this is the formula that we are going to use to do the sex classification. All right, so let's take a look at the training set that we have. Now you can see that in this table, we have person, male or a female. You can see we have four males and four females. We have some features like height and then weight and then foot size. And these are the values of height, weight and foot size. So what we will do is we will use this training data set. We will train our data set and then we are given some sample data set. You can see this person is a sample. The height of this person is 6 feet, weight is 130 pounds and the foot size is 8 inches. So now I'm given this data and I will have to use the naive base classifier to find out whether the given sample belongs to a male or a female. Right, so how will we do that? We will use this formula to find out the probability of male given this data set which is X and then we will calculate the probability of female given this data set x and then we will compare both of them. If the probability of male given this data set x is greater than the probability of female given this data x, then we can actually say that the sample belongs to a male. Things will become more clear when we will uh, do more, we will go to the next slides. So here you can see x1 is the height in this formula. I am taking x1 as height, x2 is weight and similarly x3 is the foot size. Then we have y1 as male and y2 as female because we have two classes male and female. Now these two, there are two classes. So the probability of male and probability of female is equal to 0.5. So if you will add them up, you can see that the total probability becomes one. So now we have probability of male, probability of female. Now let's see how we can actually use this data set and these features and these classes and how to rewrite this formula so that we can do the classification. All right, so let's see how it works. Now you can see a formula here that I have written, which says probability of male given x where x is the set of features right so we can also uh, it is oftenly termed as posterior of male so instead of writing probability of male given x we can also say posterior of male and it has come from the equation from the formula that we have previously studied right so now 
Now you can see here mail is Y. You can see in this tutorial, in this one, this is Y. So in our case, Y is mail. So we will replace Y by mail and X1, X2 by height and so on, right? So here you can see that I have replaced Y with mail. We can see here mail and similarly this has also become mail, mail and mail and x1, x2, x3 are weight, height and the foot size. In the denominator, this is the denominator you can see I have written uh, the probability of mail which is y1 and multiplied by probability of height given mail, probability of weight given mail and probability of foot size given mail plus the probability of female which is our class y2. So you can see that in this equation we have probability of y1 and y2 which is probability of male and probability of female and we are just multiplying it with the probability of x given y1. Since we have uh, three features x1, x2 and x3 we are going to write probability of x1 given y1 multiplied by probability of x2 given y2. And similarly for foot size also we will say probability of x3 which is the foot size given male. So you can see that this is the equation of probability of male given x or posterior of male. The next thing is the next formula is probability of female given x. Right so now we will replace y by female which is here you can see female female and the denominator will remain the same. Now one important point to note here is that in both these cases, in both these probabilities, the denominator is same. And since we are just going to compare these two equations, we do not need to calculate the denominator. We will only calculate the numerator and we will compare the numerator, right? So we can actually ignore both the denominators since they are same. Then we will compare the probability or posterior of male with the posterior of female. If posterior of male is greater than posterior of female, we will say that the sample data belongs to the male category. Alright, so basically the first question that arises in our mind is that we know the probability of male is 0.5, we know that probability of female is also 0.5. But the question is how will we calculate the probability of height given male, probability of weight given male, probability of foot size given male. And similarly for female also, you can see probability of height given female, weight given female and foot size given female. How will we calculate all these probabilities? Now the answer is the Gaussian distribution. Now for uh, important thing about this is that height, weight and foot size, they are not discrete outcomes, they are continuous outcomes. So in Gaussian distribution, we will use the uh, formula for height, weight and foot size and we will uh, calculate the Gaussian distribution and since height, weight and foot size are the continuous outcomes, the probability that we are going to get can exceed the value of 1. We know that we already know that the probability lies between the range 0 and 1 but since height, weight and foot size are the continuous outcomes, we are not going to get the probability, we are going to get the probability density which can exceed the value of 1. All right, so let's see what is the Gaussian distribution. Now, here in this table, you can see that I have calculated the mean variance of height and weight and foot size for male and for female respectively. And I have done that using the table. Now, mean is represented by the mu symbol and variance is represented by a sigma symbol. Now, let's see how to calculate the Gaussian distribution. So let's say we want to calculate probability of height given male. So the formula of Gaussian distribution is 1 upon under root of 2 pi sigma square where sigma square is the variance and exponential of minus 6 minus mu square 2 sigma square and this gives approximation 1.5789. So 6 here is basically it comes from the sample data you can see here in the sample data which is here 
This is our sample data. The height is 6, so that's why we have taken 6. For weight, we will take 130 and similarly for foot size, we will take 8. All right, so let's go here. Now, this is the probability of height given male and 6 is here. Now, mu is the mean, right? So, mean of height. Since we are dealing with height, we will write mu for height. And similarly, for variance, we will use the height for variance and for male because it is height given male. And similarly, we will calculate the value of probability weight given male. Weight is 130 from our sample data and we will put the mean for the weight given that it is a male and similarly for variance also we will do that and we will find out this value. Similarly, we can find out foot size given male by using this table and we can also do the same using the female also. So using this table and this formula which says that this is a Gaussian distribution formula and basically you can see all the probabilities are uh, this probability is 1.5789 which is greater than 1 and we have already studied that probability always uh, ranges between 0 and 1. So why is it that it is greater than 1? The reason is that height, weight, foot size they are continuous outcomes, right? So in that case we do not say that this is the probability 1.5789 is basically the probability density. Right, so now we have all these values. What we can do is we can just put all these values in the equation, which is here. In these two equations, we will put all the values and we will just ignore the denominator. We will calculate these products and then we will compare the value of posterior male and posterior female. All right, so now let's see what is the result of the classification. Now let's see what is the result of classification. Now after calculating the product of the numerator of posterior of male, you can see I have written posterior numerator male, the product comes out to be 6.1984 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 9. And when you will calculate the posterior numerator of female, that is the product of all the terms in the numerator, the answer comes to be 5.3778 dot 10 raised to the power minus 4. So on comparison of posterior of male and female, we can see that the posterior of female has a greater value than the posterior of male. So we can say that the sample, the given sample is of a female, right? So we can, we have done the classification that the given sample belongs to a female. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.